hard. I think that uh, we have outdone it ourselves this time. of USA KP9 9mm pistol AK and 5,000 rounds plus behind us. What a ride guys. Uh, this is the first, <laughs> first gun which survived coronavirus. <laughs> so this title goes to KUSA. Uh, but uh, all joking aside, as I said, what a ride. Uh, we went through basically a fall and winter and now we got the spring uh, season. Absolutely very, very reliable pistol. Uh, those blowback guns deliver, guys. Uh, we have on the program, as you know, the CZ Scorpion. We had AKV from Palmetto State Armory and KP9 from Kowalczykov USA and all of them are very very reliable guns that blowback system uh, even when it's spitting a lot of gunk inside to the receiver uh, it's really not affecting the performance of the action and how everything uh, works so Kudos uh, to the designers, they're doing outstanding job and I will tell you the fun level when shooting those 9mm uh, weapons is absolutely to the roof. I think it is a good starter gun for uh, little kids and younger uh, audience and get them into that habit of uh, using the firearms and getting familiar with firearms with something like this in the 9mm cartridge where there's no recoil uh, you can have a lot of fun and I think this is a good gateway drug to the bigger calibers later on of course not taking away uh, we know that the 9mm is used by the multiple law enforcement or militaries uh, across the, the world and uh, it's working right so but from uh, our like a bigger boys uh, AK perspective when you have the 762 by 39 or 545 by 39 or 556 by 45 a lot of people sees those 9 mil uh, as kind of you know uh, for the little kids I wouldn't say that I, I, I think even as an adult you're going to have a tons of fun tons of kick and uh, I, I think it is a place for that type of the weapon uh, to be available on the market now, we talk about the performance uh, and uh, reliability. I also would say that the KP9 delivers in the accuracy department. I haven't put it on the paper because what's the point, right? But I can guarantee you from 100, 150, 200 yards even, you will be smacking at targets uh, with uh, this uh, pistol. No issues whatsoever, very reliable and uh, very accurate. I mean, it does what it was designed for and it will put those rounds on target when you need them. Now, do I have any comments uh, about the pricing? Pricing went down since we started uh, and uh, I purchased this pistol. I, I think I paid with everything when this setup was like $1,300. I don't remember this exactly, but it was way over a thousand. Now, the bare bone pistols without the uh, uh, adapter for the brace, they are below $1,000. KUSA dropped the prices on the magazine, magazines as well. So that is what makes my heart happy because the lower prices are opening uh, this two larger group of the people who want to maybe check out the, the AK style weapons and things like this. So uh, kudos to KUSA for doing it. Also, from those people, for those people who were looking for the VTS uh, clone or Saiga 9 clone, whatever you want to call it, I mean, this is not the full auto, right? Uh, but this is absolutely as close as it gets on the mass produced scale. 
So again, thank you to KUSA for making this uh, available to the US market. Uh, and when we have sanctions in place, they managed to pull this off. So uh, tip of my head uh, goes to you guys. Thank you for that. Now, all that being said and everything, this is the first gun from KUSA, which went through the uh, 5,000 rounds challenge. And this makes me really optimistic looking forward. So I, can, I, can, I cannot wait to see the full size AK from those guys. Uh, the little, little whispers in my ear are telling me that those AK-103 uh, will be coming, coming soon to the market. And as soon as that's going to happen, uh, I'm going to purchase one and start putting rounds through it uh, immediately. Of course, we have right now all that situation of panic buys for the ammo and everything. So, uh, you know, we'll see how this, I still got the ammo pre-planned to the end of the year. Uh, and hopefully the situation will go back to normal. But after 2020, we will see what's going to happen <laughs> with the 5,000 rounds test, if this madness will continue uh, to, to uh, go. Okay, enough with the bullshit talk, time to dive in. Recoil spring, bolt <laughs> with bolt carrier. This can stay open. Let me start with the recoil spring. There is uh, no damages, no nothing on the recoil spring. Uh, it took it like a champ. And uh, let's have a look at that uh, bolt carrier. Uh, as I said, there is uh, usually uh, a lot of gunk on it and uh, I'll wipe it off for the pictures a little bit so you guys can see something. Uh, but judging by the naked eye, uh, I see the contact points of metal on metal, but everything here looks uh, normal. Uh, the firing pin is still working great and uh, I do not see any, mer any anything what will jump out of the box and say something's wrong. If you see something, say something. Let me have a quick look into the receiver. Uh, again, I will try to at least dust it off slightly for you guys, uh, so uh, you can see on the pictures, but all here is looking good. Uh, I do have uh, some wear off marks on that trigger hammer, but that's normal. And uh, the spring for the hammer trigger, it's uh, for the trigger actually uh, rusted out a little bit, but that's taking into account how much this piston was in the moisture and everything. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, the bracket for the magazine, that's polymer one, it's holding up. The rivets are looking here good. And they're looking here good. And we did not lose that rivet on the trunnion, which was crooked and tilted. Uh, so all here is looking great, guys. Let me close the dust cover and uh, use the retard strand to open the guide tube <laughs> for the bolt carrier. Lever is up. And here is the quick pirate for you guys. R for the Pirates Union. Look inside, uh, reveals absolutely nothing. And uh, that would be something, right? If we'll see some damage there. And here everything is looking good. And uh, look into that barrel, just the dirt. As, uh, but that's normal. Everything here is looking good. All the pins and the muzzle brake is uh, looking good. I still owe you the rounds count with uh, this weapon being suppressed. But uh, right now, the, all the, the suppressor makers are so busy, they're cranking up those suppressors, it's hard to buy anything. So you will have to wait. That's what is happening. Uh, and uh, I will tell you that much. Don't go anywhere because I think, I think, uh, I do have the 9mm uh, no-go gauge, finally. So I'll perform the checkup. And, and if not, then we'll not perform it. I have to find that gauge, <laughs> okay? But don't go anywhere. <laughs> Flipper games! <laughs>